Let's take you to the weekend auction markets. I've got to tell you, it was super strong. Across the country, 1,136 auctions, a clearance rate in total, 69%. But that's not the half of the story. In Sydney, 463 auctions, a clearance rate here, you can see, just a little under 70%. Have a look at Melbourne, though. It's the standout. The clearance rate, a boom time, 79% from 421 auctions. Brisbane, just 43 auctions, a clearance rate there, a tick under 42%. In Adelaide, 24 auctions, a clearance rate, 75% there. Canberra, 35 auctions, look at this, 82.9% is the clearance rate. Eleanor Cray, Senior Economist with REA Group, joins me now. Eleanor, what's happening? What happened? Yeah. <laughs> Did they take drugs or something? I don't know. There's so many people just snapping up houses. I know you're right. I mean, really quite remarkable. I, I think really a testament to these uh, stronger demand conditions that we've seen with housing markets really starting this year on a much stronger footing, despite interest rates having continued to rise. I think with the, what are incredibly challenging rental markets at the moment, uh, the strong rebound in net migration playing into this stronger demand environment and that continued softness. I get, that, I get all of that. But, like, the tough times haven't ended ended yet but people are like getting in way in advance are they getting in too early that's the I, I guess that's the timing thing we're going to find out in due course isn't it no you're right and I mean I do think we are seeing at the moment uh, probably a little bit of an adjustment period as well so probably buyers who have held back really adjusting to the higher interest rate environment knowing now that the peak in interest rate tightening is in sight maybe we'll get one more of inflation proofs to be a little bit more sticky than expected but we've probably seen uh, that that uh, or we've seen the most aggressive part of the tightening cycle. So what about the amount of stock on the market? Because that's the other key that, that could be driving up price. If there's no stock on the market, people aren't selling, and they're just sitting tight because they know that prices might be going up another 5 or 10%, why wouldn't you hang on? Exactly right. So I think that that's one of the key uh, factors at the moment is the fact that the flow of new listings, which is most consequential for, for what buyers are interested in, right, remains pretty soft. So we are starting to see that total listings have increased slightly, so total listings things were up just over 5% on April last year and April this year. Um, but that flow of new listings remains pretty soft. So it means for buyers, there is a, a limited choice environment and vendors are benefiting from the fact that there's less competition with other vendors. And I think it's a bit of a vicious circle, right? Because mm. if you're looking to sell your property at the moment, and there's not much on market, then you're probably going to hold off from selling. And of course, if you're thinking that in the interim you might have to rent and the rental market is incredibly challenging, you're probably also going to... Or going to hang on to your property. Right, that's exactly right. All right. But then the other thing is also just the speed with which properties are being snapped up around the country. And we're not talking about the major capital cities like what we saw in Melbourne there. We're talking even in regional parts of Australia where properties are literally being snapped up like that. Yeah, it's pretty interesting. So we are seeing that it's suburbs of uh, regional Queensland and Perth in particular, uh, where houses are, are selling the fastest. So in some cases, uh, less than two weeks it's taking for a, a house to Less sell. than two weeks. You put your house in the market, it's all sold, done and dusted in two weeks. And I mean, have a look at some of these places. So, you know, they're, they're probably below the capital city medians, I kind of guess, in Queensland. Their Darling Heights, 501,000. Uh, I think um, affordability is a big factor playing into where um, properties are selling the fastest at the moment. So, you know, e even with interest rates having risen so substantially and borrowing capacities down, we've seen that buyer demand has held up in these regions and markets that are more affordable. And, and I guess there's also this point that maybe city dwellers are looking for these places. They've got plenty of equity, so they're out looking at it. But if we have a look at Sydney suburbs, days on the market, Warrington County, 15 days... Ravy 17 days. It's not a, not a whole bunch. In other words, if you are a seller right now, you can get rid of this property pretty quickly. Yeah, certainly um, the Sydney suburbs where properties are selling the fastest are uh, dominated by uh, Western Sydney suburbs. Now, uh, we, we looked at Warrington County there. Uh, again, compared to the median um, across the greater Sydney region, uh, homes selling in 42 days. So certainly selling a lot quicker than they are in some other parts of Sydney. And again, I think affordability really playing into where houses are selling the fastest. Eleanor, always good to get your input. Thanks so much for your time today. We really appreciate it. Thanks for having me. Talk soon.